In this exercise, I'm going to be demonstrating some more in-depth layer masking techniques, as well as showing you how to use adjustment layers in your own image processing. The image I'm using for this lesson is another shot of a cat, and what I'd like to do is increase the contrast and add a bit of drama to create a look that I like. I'll also be eliminating some of the distracting background elements. Now the purpose of this exercise is not so much to show you how to create a particular look, although I'm going to do that, but I really want to make you familiar with these tools so that you can utilize them in your own images and create the results you want. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that I want to do is duplicate the background layer. So simply right click on it, click on duplicate layer, and I'm going to call this layer soft light because I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light. And you can see right away we have a much more uh, contrasty image, but the, the cat's a lot more contrasty than I, I really want. It's kind of washed out. So just like we did in our previous lesson, I'm going to create a uh, layer mask. And I'm just going to do the default layer mask with the white fill. And I'm going to use a, a black paintbrush and just paint out the area where the cat is. Okay, good. Now the soft light layer is really just only applying to the uh, the rest of the image here. At this point, I want to introduce you to adjustment layers. Now you may already be familiar with the adjustments menu accessed by going to the image menu, clicking on it, and then going to adjustments. Image adjustments are very powerful correctional and creative editing tools, and I use them in almost every image I edit. When you create an image adjustment, it is applied to the current active layer. So to give you an example, I'm going to duplicate my background layer and I'm just going to call it test and I'm going to go ahead and hide this soft light layer. Now I'm going to create an image adjustment on that layer so go to image adjustments and I'm going to do a hue saturation and I'm going to pull the saturation down all the way so it's just completely desaturated and click OK now there's nothing necessarily wrong with creating an image adjustment this way. However, let's say I decide I'd really rather desaturate this uh, this layer at 50% versus 100%. Well, I can uh, go up to Edit Undo, okay, and then reapply the hue saturation adjustment at 50% instead of 100. But let's say I've been working on this image for a while and I can't go back and undo it. Well, then I'd basically have to probably delete the layer and start over. Uh, but you know, what if I've done other edits on that layer? Then I might be in real trouble. So uh, the better way to do it is to create an adjustment layer. To create a new adjustment layer, simply click on the adjustment layer icon, which is down at the bottom of the layers palette, and it's a circle that's half black and half white. And at this point, I'm going to choose hue saturation again. So I'm going to pull the saturation down to negative 100%. Click OK. And now I've got a new hue saturation adjustment layer. Now there are three major benefits to using adjustment layers. Number one, because it is a separate layer, uh, it's not actually altering the pixels on the layer underneath it, so it's non-destructive. Number two, it's editable. So I can come back and if I decide, well, I really would rather have the hue saturation be at negative 50% versus negative 100, I can simply double click on the thumbnail and pull it back to say uh, 50 negative 50 there and click OK and if I want to edit it again I can come back and do it again at any time. The third benefit that I really like is that when you create an, an adjustment layer it automatically creates a layer mask with it and so you can see that right here um, and, and usually when I create adjustment layers I'm wanting to apply them to specific areas of the image so uh, that makes it really convenient for me. I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, adjustment layer since I don't need it and I'm going to go ahead and delete this test layer too and make my soft light layer visible again. Now I want to create another adjustment layer and this time I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and I'm going to pull down the middle of the curve about right there and as you can see it darkens the entire image and this is one thing I want to point out about adjustment layers is that by default adjustment layers don't just affect the layer directly underneath it, they affect all layers underneath it. So 
not only is it affecting the part of the image uh, or part of this layer that is not masked out here, but it's also affecting the part of the background layer that you can see, in this case, the cat. So what you can do, if you only want to apply the adjustment to the layer directly underneath it, you can hold down the Alt or Option key and click on the line between the adjustment layer and the layer underneath it. So just like that and now the adjustment is only applied to this layer and if we hide it you can see it's only affecting the areas of the image around the cat and that's because the cat is masked out now in this case I want it to apply to both layers so I'm gonna hold down the alt or option key again click that line and now it applies to the entire image up to this point we've been using either a white or a black paintbrush to edit layer mask to either completely reveal or completely hide portions of a layer. However, gradient fills can also be used which will create nice blends between the layers. So let's take a look at how that works. Now what I'd like to do is mask out this curves adjustment around the cat's head. And I could just use a black paintbrush, but what I'm going to do is use a radial gradient uh, to give it a nice more natural blended look. And to do that, I just select the gradient tool and radial gradient is already selected and I'm going to switch my background and foreground color here and I'm going to start in the middle of the cat's head and click and just drag out just beyond the head just like that and you, if you look at our uh, layer mask here you'll see the gradient and what I'm going to do is actually alt or option click on the layer mask and we can have a, a nice large view here which is really useful once you start creating more complicated masks uh, to show you what you've got and you can see here in the middle where it's black and this is where the curves adjustment is masked out the most and then it just blends out here to white where it's completely revealed so I'm going to I'll click there and I like that effect as it is so I'm going to leave it there by the way uh, layer masks on adjustment layers work just the same as they do on regular layers so you can apply these gradient fills to your regular layers as well